Hey guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid. I always like to wait for some good mysterious weather before I start doing my monologues, so, uh, waited for the fog to roll in today, but it seems- I, I was hoping for snow, but we didn't get quite that much precipitation. It's November 29th, and a good bit has passed, but boring stuff that I knew I had to do on my own, so let's just recap where we've been. So, as for boring stuff, uh, I- whenever I get this far in a series, I have to do an uncomfortable amount of grinding off-camera, because otherwise I would just be grinding all day on the- game. Uh, the, the, the point counts are divided into the thousandths. That's how slow this character gains skill, so I figured do a lot of this off camera. Anyway, I managed to uh, harvest 74 cabbages, and I ate all of them, but in order to get all of them down my throat, I needed to push a tree, uh, so I gained a little bit more on fitness and strength. Figured it was, you know, make it worthwhile to have such a big harvest, and I did actually lose some of the cabbages, but I have enough seeds to keep going on. Uh, then I took to cars. I wanted to get mechanics too. So there's a trick you can use where you just take a bunch of light bulbs and whenever it's a unique light bulb going into a car, headlight or taillight or coming out on a new day of the week, uh, you, uh, you gain more experience just for a new light bulb. So I got up to mechanics one and eventually mechanics two, but I think it took about 2000 installs and uninstalls, which took forever and my hands hurt at the end. So I was like, eh, best not to do this on camera. And I'll just warn you ahead, uh, a lot of this video is going to be me grinding with the knife because I was just seeking to understand it. Um, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully once we can hotwire cars, things will get interesting again, but we still need that electrical. After that, I harvested the potatoes. It seems I had the wrong information about calorie counts because uh, I, I did still gain weight with potatoes and now I'm back up to 80 kilograms. So after I'm done getting a few preparations squared away, I think we're going to head over to the town to the west. Uh, I would go back to Muldraw, or maybe even, uh, you know, McCoy Lumber Mill, but I think they're going to be overrun by this point, and seeing as when you leave a place for too long and you let zombies come in, they tend to take over the entire area, it's very difficult to take it back. So the smaller the area that we're trying to go back to, the better. Um, we may end up going back to the farms that we had before, because there's plenty of stuff there that I could still probably ban- uh, you know, farm for electronics experience, but how much- how much electronics experience do we even need? We need another, uh, about- about 60, a little less than 60. Uh, so at this point, we want to get that, and we also want to get insulated clothing, because God forbid that we end up here in the winter without having enough clothing. Uh, ideally I'd like to find a down jacket. I think that might have better insulation, or just anything that we can find, and ideally a scarf. Our temperature- where is our temperature? Bot- skin temperature? Insulation. Okay, our neck. Can I see it like this? Okay, yeah. Here we go. Head and neck are still really uncovered, so if we could find items for that, that would be fantastic. Otherwise, we're pretty well insulated on our chest. Um, it would be nice if we could find- don't I have on long johns? I think I've got long john bottoms underneath everything, so that's good. Adds a little bit. But if we could, like, I don't know, find some slightly warmer <laughs> pants. I don't, I don't even really know what they are exactly. But I'll look in people's wardrobes to see if we could find better stuff, and a scarf. Scarves are rare, but if we could find that one, one that would be great. Uh, and I think there might be like a, I can't remember what you call it, it's like the Russian hat, like a Nushenka or something like that. Uh, that might be good for our head, because we don't really need to prioritize zombies, we just need to be warm when we move around. Uh, and then when we get the electronics, you know, we'll use those for cars, and beyond just getting around, cars also have heat, so assuming that we can find some way to get gas, mainly just siphoning gas out of vehicles, I uh, will be way better off for that. But before I go, I want to just take care of a few of these. Tired and hungry. Uh, and then we'll pack some cigarettes and antidepressants so that when we get to the town, we can sneak in. And I am going to be trying to use these sneak kills. Uh, the other thing I'll say is, <laughs> I, I said it was like an innovation with the knife. And the last time, yes, these knife techniques have been around for a while. Just, I didn't know how to use them with animations because I thought they changed everything up. Anyway, um, yeah, let's rest up and head out now. Okay, we don't have a lot left of these antidepressants. Um, we got a little, n hardly any soap left, really. I'm not gonna bring any other stuff with me, though. I mean, first aid kit. Ah, uh, you know what? It's two point. It's two point three. I just don't think it's worth it. I'm pretty careful. I don't think I'm gonna need this. I could bring beta block. You know what? Maybe if I put the beta blockers into the first aid kit, let's equip that to our secondary. Then it'll be worthwhile, but I felt like I brought too much stuff with me the last time that I went out. We could actually carry a few more things in that. Let's just see what else. Alcohol wipes we've already got. We could always use it. No, we got three adhesive bandages. That's really plenty. 
I could just carry other stuff in there. It'll just mean less that we can carry back, though. Um, and you know what, come to think of it, any electronics that, we're that we find, we're pretty much just going to dismantle on the spot to gain the experience. But yeah, a lot of sneaking and a lot of dismantling coming up now. Hope the potatoes do well while I'm gone. Okay, one thing we're going to do on our way there. Uh, I don't really want to settle for denim, but I'm going to be looking for leather on every single zombie that I see dropped off. So, none of these guys have leather on them. They'll have it by those longer coats. Uh, we'll also look for, I think, belts can give them to you. I don't know if shoes. Can you break down leather? Sh I don't think so. There may be one other item or something like that. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that we can still scavenge, and as much as I can minimize the amount of time I'm going to have to spend in the town, uh, the better, because it's going to be pretty taxing to go in there. Okay, here's a good one. This is a reason to come back. So this zombie has a leather jacket on her. I'm going to... Uh, I should have brought scissors with me. It's fine, because they're pretty much going to weigh the same, as far as I know. So, we'll throw that leather jacket in our bag, but this is the type of stuff that we're looking for throughout the winter. Just any kind of heavy clothes that we can use, as well as electronics. Alright, it looks like we got one respawn here. I don't know where this guy- he's got something through his leg. Can't really make it out right now, but let's see how good our sneaking is doing us at this point. Can we actually get a sneak kill on this guy? Nope. <laughs> Still can't, but I- he didn't get alerted. I was like right behind him, so that was just as well. Alright, well he's got decent baggy jeans and they're not even that bloody. I don't think that respawns have very bloody clothing. I might want to take these, but they're close enough to home that I don't have to worry too much about that, so let's just keep on going. But keep an eye out for spawns. Okay, at this point I'm starting to notice that the leather jackets are actually really heavy. There are two kilograms each. So I'm gonna drop both of these on the floor right here. Because I'm definitely gonna hit this spot again before I get back. But I want to minimize the amount of carry weight that I'm doing. Um, we got cigarettes, we got antidepressants for the journey. What else do we need? I'm gonna keep my clock on me, I just like to keep track of the time. Uh, I don't think I need these nails for this <laughs> I should have left these at home. And just before, you know, before we get too far. Alright, I guess that's it. Um, my carry weight's kind of light. Maybe we'll start carrying around this, uh, what is it? First aid kit in our backpack. Alright, now off to the town. Alright, so, I don't know if I can get a perfect backstab in yet, but that was pretty quiet. And that's more or less what I'm going to need in the town. But I think I'm going to need to be even better off for town fights. I mean, if I hadn't learned the knife... Ooh. Are there really groups this big out there? If there are, like, I can't possibly fight that group. And this is one reason why it might get kind of hairy. Because <laughs> there's gonna be a lot that are led by a group leader, and if I accidentally aggro the group leader of those four or five, uh, I'm in trouble because then they're all gonna come after me. Okay, I'm just gonna try to bite him off one at a time. I got one to see me, and the other ones are actually looking away right now, so we'll see if we can just dispatch her really quickly. I made a little bit of noise, another one came, and it looks like the other one after him will come after that. So, this is how we dispatch groups of them, because they often do spawn in groups. Uh, and that's probably the hardest part about taking them out. So I've found that this, techniques, that, yeah, this technique works pretty well, is just... You know, picking them off by sight. If you use sound, you're gonna aggro the whole group. There we go. Another one. Alright, and we whittled it down to just one. So, took a group of five, and... I guess that our stealth skills aren't really gonna make us avoid everybody. But, you know, if we could make just... Uh, if we could make little enough noise that we attract them one at a time, and that my appearance doesn't just send them all off in my direction, and I'm not making tons of noise when I'm moving, I'm much better off. Otherwise, on this walk, I'm probably just going to be trying to rest more. If I start killing a lot, and then, you know, I'm tired by the time I get to the town, I'll probably just turn back and sleep in one of those houses and try it again tomorrow, because I don't want to go into the town if I'm in bad condition. I'd rather just take them out on the road. Alright, found some earbuds on the road. <laughs> Like, I can't, I can't really afford to waste anything, so I'm just gonna take apart every single thing that I can see. Always look at zombie corpses, I think they recently added more loot to them or something like that, too. Just in a patch with... I guess recent for me is in, like, the last year, but... Yeah, it's... they, they, they should be a little bit better now, I think. 
Alright, we're at a fenced off area. I believe this is where I led them to before. I mean, just look at the kill count now. I think since we've figured out knife mechanics, like, the kill count has probably gone up by 50 or 60, which is insane. Um, I'm gonna try to fight off a few from this farm, but right now we're sitting at moderate exertion. And I don't think that there are any houses over here, so what I'm probably just gonna end up doing is killing a few more, and then going back to one of those other houses to sleep, or a house nearby here if I deem it safe. Because there's no- yeah, look, I mean, it's- it's like a horde of five or six. I'm calling them hordes of five or six, because for warm men, that's a horde. Even- even with this ability, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do any crazy feats of strength. I'd be scared with that many, even with a normal character, though. Um, so let's just try to whittle them down before we come here tomorrow. Alright, I'm just gonna try using- ah, this technique did not work. This is still under development, I think. Just a recently added feature. But you should be able to stand on top of one zombie. Now, does it work with two? Maybe it works with two. You should be able to stand on- Ooh, this is a weird situation. Uh, I don't know, I don't really trust anything right now. But you should be able to stand on top of one zombie while fighting another one from now on. Getting a little bit hairy because I can't exactly pinpoint which one I'm shooting, or which one I'm aiming at. I'd like to aim at the standing one while I'm standing on the other, but... Uh, let's see. Okay, hammer. Always use the hammer for ones on the ground. I mean, really, use your feet, but I feel like shoes are pretty valuable to this character, too, that I don't want to wear out the military boots. Alright, so here's how I've decided I'm going to deal with two from now on. If I can muster up the strength to push one of them to the ground, then I want to do this. Okay, watch. Standing on him while I stab the other one, and then I guess... Ah, shit. Okay, it's just that one there. For the one on the ground, then, I'll take him out with the hammer. So, I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more killing techniques in the game, because combat has significantly evolved. Before, it wasn't this involved. Um, but it's really changed the whole thing up. It used to just be push and stop. That was- <laughs> that was all the combat technique. But now, it's like there's a whole- a whole universe! A whole new world! <laughs> oh, god, that was really off-key. Sorry, I'm not- I'm not here for singing, but, uh... Yeah, maybe I will be someday. Alright, let's, uh, finish off these two. We did a good job. We did a good job with this field. Better than I ever have before. Alright, we took out all of them in the fields, and honestly, I think that there are other houses this way. It's been a while since I last came here. I think I did maybe like the seventh video or something. The, the, one, the one with all the hot cocoa on the front. Um, so I think we could afford to stay here another night because there's probably just a few more to clear out, and then tomorrow we could hit the main- Oh, a few more over there. But then tomorrow we could probably hit the rest of the town. Either that or do more clearing, and then the next day hit the town on the 1st of December. Okay, this is getting dangerous. There's too many around here. I mean, it makes me realize it's even easier to kill one now, because one used to be pretty safe, but now it's even safer than it used to be. Let's just keep on jumping over this fence and get him to follow me here. Uh, but now with- oh, yeah, no, that wasn't so good. Ooh, that was weird, I triggered the biting animate- or I triggered the kill animation, but I didn't- Ah, uh, god, alright, I'm gonna have to figure some way to work this out without getting myself killed. High exertion. Alright, so it turns out I went down to the lowest walking speed. You really quickly go from moderate exertion to now excessive exertion from high, so- I know it's a long way away, but I think I'm just gonna walk back to the houses. If I've learned anything in all the time making videos of Project Zomboid, it's don't ever bite off more than you can chew. Uh, be really, really careful. So, not even gonna try to fight the ones on the road. Only, maybe if it's one, I will, but otherwise we'll just creep through here. I think that's safer. Alright, so here's another combat trek, uh, separating out by speeds. This one's pretty much always worked, and it seems to be pretty much consistent with the new animations build. I particularly want the guy in the front, because he's got some scissors lodged in him, and I'd like to be able to tear up the leather jacket. And it looks like we're gonna get him. Otherwise, now two is still safe. But yeah, fortunately they all had drastically different speeds. You know, I think I was wrong about that. Leather strips do not weigh as much as the coat itself, so it, it was a really good find to get these scissors. 
because that's going to lighten our carrying weight if we do manage to find a lot more leather. Uh, so, I got lucky, but, you know, the more you know, the better off you are. Alright, this is the type of situation I'd like to be able to excel in. Uh, if I have two with their backs to me, and if I could just kill one without the alerting the other to, you know, my presence, I'd like to be able to do that, but I haven't managed to get in any of those good backstabs I've been wanting. Uh, it seems like every single time I make contact with them, they notice me, or if I'm that close. Uh, so I, I can't really figure out how to get a reliable backstab on the first try. I guess I'll just try to keep myself off. But at the same time, you know what, if we can manage that, we could probably take out a lot bigger towns just through stealth. I've never played a character that stealthy before, but it's kind of it's kind of badass to play this way. <laughs> okay, we managed to make it back to one of the houses that I secured last <laughs> secured uh, the last time, and I don't think there's going to be a lot in here. There's probably a few things I left behind, like that radio I could disassemble. Let's just make sure there's nothing in the pantries in here. Nope. All right. Uh, at this point, this was a great house because we can sleep in here safely tonight, away from the rain. Won't get a cold. It seems like every single time that I go out to loot, I get rain. And it just causes me to get a cold. Uh, but this will be good for the potatoes, don't get me wrong. And I'm glad that it wasn't... Actually, I don't know if snow waters them. Never really checked on that, but we'll find out soon enough. Uh, we got a safe place to stay. A few electronics, and we're a little closer to our goal. Alright, I just woke up and it looks like we're combating foul weather again. We got more snow. But I'm not getting, uh, I wouldn't get the cold temperature uh, debuff until I got outside, probably, just because I get a slight buff for being inside. So, uh, one thing that a lot of new players don't really see, and took me a long time to figure out, was that so much of the electrical experience can be gotten by right-clicking on furniture, anything that's electrical, so just be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. Otherwise, uh, electrical, I don't think is that useful until you get, really get to the higher levels of it. The first level is valuable because it can give you hot wiring combined with two mechanics. But then after that, I, I don't know. I don't know a lot about the electrics tree, uh, or uh, uh, the electric tree. If I did, I'm sure I would put it to much better use though. All right, it looks like I may have missed a couple of warehouses when I came here before. I had no, uh, haven't I been here? I feel like I've been here. I think I, for some reason, I feel like I must have left a massive horde of zombies at- Yep, I've definitely been here before. Um, but there may still be electronic devices, because I was not prioritizing that before. Yep. Okay, this is where we left all that. <laughs> I forgot about this stuff, wow. Um, the fertilizer's nice, but not all that necessary, so for right now, I don't think I'm going to bring most of the stuff with me. I could bring the t uh, am I even going to be able to sleep outside? I can't even remember. Do I get panicked outside anymore? I haven't noticed the heartbeat, but that's because I turned off the heartbeat in my mic because I was just hearing it way too much. Do I get do I get panicked outside? I do get panicked outside still. Okay, so I will not be bringing the tent with me. Because that is not safe. I don't know why the agrophobic doesn't go away. Um I mean claustrophobic's still there, but just in to a lesser degree, I think. After all this time. Um. Not really looking like I left anything very useful in here, though. Let's just go on to the town and see what we can find there. Okay, it's December. It is getting cold. Uh, and I've heard now that the cold... I mean, even after they ch updated a few patches, I've heard that the cold can still be pretty deadly. <laughs> so, I am kind of nervous. I'm going to get into some incredibly cold winters. Uh, so that makes it only more urgent to get where I want to go right Though this rainstorm is getting very bad. You know what, I think I'm going to go along the road, see how far I can get, and then kill a few more zombies. Uh, and if I manage to do that right, I'll probably come back here, sleep, and then go to the town tomorrow when it's not rainy. Because I don't want to risk getting a cold while I'm in town, which would pretty much be a disaster scenario. Okay, yeah, at this point, we're just gonna smoke a cigarette, get ready to fight them. <laughs> Honestly, this is kind of badass. Smoking a cigarette through a welder's mask in the rain. Sneaking over to... I never pictured that this character would get this cool. I always just sort of pictured him being, like, boy in a bubble. <laughs> but you know what? He's, he's managed to do it at this point. Even to me, he's like a bit of a hero. He's growing on me. 
Okay, uh, I don't like it when they move like that. All right, two is okay. All right, fortunately now that the standing mechanic has taken place, I can just stand on top of zombies before I kill them. I don't know if there's a, a completely reliable way to kill them while they're down. I think the hammer has been the best one for me. So I'm just going to continue with that, but if there is a way to do this, you could do really well in combat without any experience, because this character is probably not ever even going to get the first level of knife. He's only at 3.85 experience for having killed like 50 zombies with the knife. It's insane. Alright, I got scratched on the groin and my helmet fell off? That's never happened to me before. Even while I was, uh triggering an animation, so kind of strange. Um, I'm, I'm gonna get adhesive bandages on it. I think that's like a 7% chance, so hopefully I'm alright, but it would kind of suck. I've never had my, it's been a while since I last had my hat thrown off. But I'm trying to, I left it, ooh shit, yeah, it was like during one of those things. So I guess I am vulnerable during my knife animation. I'll need to be careful though. Alright, unfortunately when he scratched my groin, I lost all of my groin protection, so there and my right th thigh are pretty valu- uh, not valuable. Well, they are valuable, but they're also vulnerable right now. Uh, I guess we'll continue on to the town, but I'm kind of depressed about this. I'm gonna need to find new jeans. I think there were new jeans back there, though. We'll just have to get a new bloody pair, remove all our old patches. I just disinfected my wound, and I guess we'll go back to sleep in the house tonight. I just hope this thing doesn't turn into anything. It's been an amazing playthrough, and I'd be I'd be really upset if he if he got infected. I'd re I I wanted to see him at least get into cars. I want to see him get into cars, and I want to see him have a moment of glory. You know, I think he's uh, I think he's actually doing quite well because he's killed like thirty in this video. This character, I mean he, because it's been a lot of work, but. For a character to have started out that bad, and to get that many kills, however, in whatever way it is, without getting completely exhausted, is kind of cool. And, I don't know, it would just be sad if it happened right now. Just a little bit longer, I wanted to get slightly cooler clothes, clean clothes, finally, and then, uh, a car. I want him- I want him to see one year. If he could see one year, I'd be- Alright, it looks like I'm not destined to be a zombie. Uh, I've gone back to okay, and despite the fact that my character has pretty much all of the signs of zombification, he pretty much always has all of the signs of zombification, <laughs> to be fair. Except for the, uh, the nausea and the fever. Uh, so as long as we don't develop nausea and fever, we know we're okay. I mean, he may even... I think there's one... One of the traits... Is it hypochondriac in here? There's one trait that causes you to develop... I think it looks exactly the same as prone to illness. Um, but that causes you to develop infection symptoms without ever being infected. <laughs> so, um, that could be especially confusing, but we are getting nervous wreck still, and we've been waking up with nightmares because of, uh, bloody clothes and also the smoker. I had one cigarette, but I almost immediately became stressed again just because of the, bo the bloody clothes. So I think that we're not infected, we're just back to the old set of moodles. Uh, anyway, we gotta start moving, because I said I wanted to be in this town by December 1st, now it's December 3rd. And we are getting a wind chill, and it's more consistently turning into snow, so I know that the temperature is going down, despite the fact that I've not- I've still not yet found a- I can't believe that I haven't found a watch on a single zombie, I must have missed something somewhere, cause... Well, I've killed only 135 of them, and I haven't been, I had a chance to check every single corpse, but... Hopefully, uh, since we're killing more zombies, we will find a watch soon, so we can find out air temperature. And it would also be lighter than this alarm clock, so onward to the town. Okay, I am gonna keep on killing everyone that I find, uh, every zombie, because I don't think, uh, I want to leave a path of zombies for me to run back from. And I'm probably gonna be exhausted when I'm done in the town anyway. Alright, I don't think I'm trusting this, uh, you know, as a result of getting scratched on the groin, 
Because anytime somebody scratches your groin, you're going to be a little bit more careful the next time around. I don't think that this knife technique is going to be completely foolproof. Man, they make a lot of... No, no, no! Get on the ground again. Uh, I, I can stand on two at once sometimes if they're... Hey, you stay down. I don't think I can fully depend on this mechanic yet, though. It's still under testing. Um... Yeah, because sometimes when I go through that animation to knife them, another one will come up to me. And since that animation just takes so long, at least for this character, for some reason or another, uh, I don't think that I'm safe for the entire time. So maybe two max at once we'll still go with. All right, I got scratched before, but I think it was just the trees. I ran through some trees for a second. Could have been the z I doubt it was the zombies, because I didn't see any animation triggered for it. Um, I mean, could have been, but... Anyway, we're at the town now. I'm just gonna hope that didn't do anything screwed up. Uh, ah, uh, god. You know what? I'm still gonna try to sneak in without a sound, because... We are at moderate exertion, and we do have- Ooh, Dang, man. Alright, I'll be better off. I could fight one. <laughs> one or maybe two, but nowhere near that many. Hello! Okay, I'm just gonna be careful here. I wanna get away from these trees, because they're decreasing my visibility. And, uh, I've got a lot. I also keep lodging my knife into zombies, which is not helping matters at all. All right, and we just leveled up in something. I don't even really know what it was. We leveled up in something. Nimble, I think it was. So we're making slightly less noise, great. All right, we finally did enough sneaking that now we can fight a few without having to deal with a group that big. So we can actually pick and choose the hordes that we fight. So I've earned the right to come to this house. I don't think I'd... Oh. Um, let me see. Is there any way I could stay in this town? Because I did do well there. And now that I have them all running toward that house, I might even be able to take advantage of that. I'm gonna keep on sneaking so that they don't see me. And they'll probably keep going to the house. Yep. Alright, let's check out this other barn. And then maybe the other houses in town will actually become free, since they're all gonna be attracted to this one. Okay, zombies are still trickling in toward that one house, but I'm just sort of remaining on the outskirts of town. I think that if I go further up this way, like northwest, I will encounter a couple more houses. Uh, but I'm going to be almost completely out of breath when I get there, so... I don't know, I'll take one quick look, and then if it doesn't look good, like too good to be true, like I could sleep there, I'm probably just going to head back to the barn, uh, or the farmhouses, because that's a much better bet at safety. But we still could come back tomorrow. Okay, bad, bad, not good. I got in- I got into more than I could handle. Uh, they're coming in from across the countryside. I was doing very well in combat, but there's just too many around. I can't- I can't manage it, so I'm gonna walk back. Uh, barely gonna make it out alive, but I think I will make it, so that's a win. Alright, it seems I've discovered a shack in the middle of nowhere. I don't even think that this is on the map. Haven't seen this thing, it just looks abandoned, but there are several buildings in the game like this that just have nothing. Alright, nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, I, I don't say that we've got it so easy, because anytime you leave an area for a while, they can respawn. So, I mean, I was just at this farm a couple days ago, and it seems like now we've got seven or eight of them back, so... Not really easy for this character to deal with. I'm going to keep sneaking, even though it's going to make me even go more slowly. Uh, because I just don't want to be detected. I want to get back to a house and get to sleep. Alright, I recovered from my scratch. Still think that was just from the tree, so not too much to worry about. Um, at this point, I might take one more day. Uh, I want to see if I can get into town, and then if not, I gotta go home because I got a whole crop of potatoes that I gotta harvest. 
Uh, if I can't harvest the potatoes, then I'm gonna lose a lot of seeds. I'm not so worried about the potatoes themselves as about the seeds. Yes, it'll help my farming skill because you need to harvest the actual crop to gain the skill points. So let's make one mad dash at the town today. Not mad dash, but you know, try to stealth our way in now that we already set off that house alarm. I don't, right off the top of my head, I don't think that you could set them off multiple times in a row. <laughs> and then if it works out, great. But if not, I'm going back home and trying again later. Alright, we found another ranger jacket. These things make great, uh, well, they're good for everything. Good, uh, defense, good wind resistance, good insulation. I'm gonna grab this. I think the ranger pants, insulation and wind resistance are actually very, very high. Let's compare that with our jeans. The jeans are still good, but I think that the ranger pants are a little bit better. So I'm gonna grab these, just go out in full ranger attire, and then... Will the shirt be better off too? I might end up getting like a lumberjack shirt. I guess we're gonna go around in forest ranger clothing. Because I figure that this stuff is probably more well suited for, you know, long-term survival in nature than anything else. Uh, ooh. Wow, the entire left... <laughs> the entire... The, both thighs and the shins are completely worn out. I might switch back to the jeans. But I don't know, I'm keeping a much closer eye on clothing now. Well, it looks to me like they're respawning in even greater numbers than they were when I first got here. I'm just gonna try to, <clears throat> I don't know, use my nimble, my one nimble and my conspicuous and clumsy to try to find a part of town where there's not so many. I figure that there must be pockets now. Uh, at this time of year, or at least as long as they've been around in the world for this long, they tend to clump off in groups, so you can pretty quickly see where they are. Um, okay, and we just got another horde event. Looks like it's drawing them to that side of town, so I might head over to this side, and I'll check along the right edge of town, because there should be a few buildings that they've abandoned, uh, if there was a horde event in that side. Looks well like we, uh, lucked out. I think if that gunshot hadn't gone off from nowhere, uh, I would not have been able to get to this church, so... Here and everything else along the- Ooh! Shit! Damn. <laughs> Sorry if that gave you a heart attack. This and everything else- Ah, that was not good. Ah, oh, man. Who knew that stabbing them on the ground would have broken the window and made more noise? Um, anyway, everything here and on the east side of town should still be pretty- pretty doable for now. Alright, well, we've got enough leather strips now to clothe an entire army. <laughs> we've got- how many is it? We've got over 50, like we've got 54 leather strips. That's insane. Uh, I think at this point, I'll just try to clear out this one church, and maybe I'll end up, like, setting up a little safe area, a safe space in here that I can sleep in. Because, uh, I, I don't want to tackle this town right now, but I do want to stay here for a bit longer. Ooh! Yeah. Well, I can. And we found more melted ice cream. This is fantastic. It actually might put me overweight for a second. Nope. All right. We had a whole bag of chips and we had that. So that's given us one chevron's worth. And at this point, this place actually had fantastic canned foods. Wow, a lot of processed goods in here. This is going to help us survive the winter too. Okay, this is good. I've found a few more radios in here. Our skill's not... It's not anywhere near where I would want it to be, but... We went from, what, 17 to 23 today, so... <laughs> I mean, now that we're actually in the town, we'll probably start to find a lot more electronics and other electronic furniture, like lamps and such, and so on and so forth. Um, but at this point, I think I'm pretty much content to just leave it there for today. Uh, I'm lucky to be in a second floor of a house, and I actually just realized recently, I don't think that sound transfers out of buildings. Because I was shooting off a gun inside of a, like, a building. <laughs> and I don't know if it was, like, a bug or whatever. But, um, like, they were not attracted to the building. So, I'm just going to keep on going with that. <laughs> like, I don't need to sneak as much as I do in buildings. Which is great fun and much easier. Uh, and at this point, I think I'm just going to leave it there. So, we're trapped inside of a church. It was, it mainly, it was just a lot of looting for today. I don't like to do uh, too many like this. I like to have more momentous developments in videos, but... 
Anyway, we gotta have a few of these if we want to get back civilization. Look at all the cars we're gonna have to dismantle and radios and so on and so forth. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I, I hope you learned something from this video. I hope, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, and I appreciate all the comments and likes. I'll try to get to responding to as many as I can. Um, I guess I can't promise every single one now because I'm just trying to keep up at this point. Um, but thank you so much for all the, for all the kind words and, and your tips, too. I really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.